My father had recently died uh, when we first moved out here, and then uh, not a few years after that, I think uh, my ex-wife and I got divorced, or we split up, and so that was really tumultuous um, in terms of that. And then, uh, and then I got, you know, and then I got laid off and stuff. And like the really, like the glue, the community that we had to lean on was SBG. I mean, they were always here. I'm Nalani. I've been doing jujitsu for six years now. And the people supporting you and just like, you know, you can do this. You got it. You just keep keep coming back, keep doing what you need to do. I wanted to do jujitsu first, but it was more of a priority for me to get my daughter into it first. I used to get picked on at my school before I did jujitsu, and now that I do it, um, I don't get picked on. I wanted her to have like this confidence, obviously, right? But I also wanted her to have a very um, efficient and effective skill set that actually works. It did, it made me feel more confident because I used to be a really shy and giving in to bullies kind of girl before I did this. She's a sweet and compassionate spitfire. Last time somebody picked on me, it was when I was six as well. And when that's when I learned the arm bar, I just sweeped the bully and just had them land flat on their back and arm bar them happens in jiu-jitsu is you learn the tools to get better at being yourself. It'll help me be more confident and to believe in myself and make me a little stronger so that way I don't get picked on. For the kids, you know, just this is like a second home. It's like a third place for them. You know, like they come here, they feel comfortable here. If people are like being bullied or anything really, they could come here and learn how to defend themselves.